Well, I don't always drink energy drinks, but when I do, oh, that's pretty good. I'm eating healthy and drinking healthy on this trip. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the next adventure. I'm Bob. Well, I've been traveling all day. Left at like 8 this morning, and it's going on 6 o'clock now. Check out the sunset, though. Hopefully, you can see this. Go. No uh, pretty horrible views through the bug splats, but it's the best I can do right now. Doing 80 miles an hour down the freeway. As you know, from last week's video, I am on my way to pick up my puppy. And I've been traveling into southeast Idaho, and I'm still driving. Been driving all day. Uh, but anyhow, I thought this was just pretty silly just a second ago. I, I punched in the GPS to go to a store to buy a leash and a collar because I forgot to bring one. I had a leash, I didn't have a collar, but... And it said it was just going to be five minutes out of the way. Well, it took me back roads a bunch of miles out of the way and then right back on the freeway. You ever have that happen to you? I don't know why. It happens to me all the time. It just takes me off the freeway to put me right back on the freeway to travel to where I'm actually going to go. Oh, it's frustrating. GPS. Paper maps. I should just use those. <laughs> but technology works sometimes. But yeah, we're just traveling along. I'm trying to decide on... Once I get to the store, I'm going to try to figure out a destination for sleeping tonight. Uh, if I can find a hotel room. I don't know if this town I'm going to is going to have anything there. So I'm going to have to do a little research while I'm at the store. Supposedly there's going to be one coming up here in 20 minutes. But it looks like I'm going back in the middle of nowhere. I guess I'll find out. But I'm going to have to look into finding a place for tonight. It's kind of leaning towards. I'll see if maybe if I can find like a casino or something. I'm not much of a gambler, but be something to do I guess they'll have a bar and restaurants and stuff I don't know if there will be or not uh, but I'm gonna look it up if all else fails I'll just get a uh, crappy motel and maybe walk to a local pub or I don't know maybe not do anything buy a six-pack and go back to the hotel room I guess but we'll find out who knows who knows what the night brings right now, I guess that's why it's an adventure all right well I'm going to try to find this store 28 miles away, supposedly, and uh, go from there. Motorcycle, a different video. I'll, I'll link it here or something on uh, that military bomb zone that I camped in. Yeah, it was just right over there. That was a long ride on a motorcycle. Holy cow! It's a long drive. It's kind of crazy. I have no idea how much further I actually have to go. I think I still have a few hours. Well, find out. All right, let's see if you can see this. So I'm coming up over that mountain. I was like, what in the heck is that? Because, oh, I don't think we're going to be able to spot it. But out there, that mountain way off in the distance, you might not be able to kind of see it. You see that light poking through way out there at the top? I hope you can see that through the window but a little bright light I couldn't figure out for a while what that was that's the moon wow thing looks huge holy cow what what an awesome 
awesome surprise. You could, it's crazy how it's coming through the clouds like that. I hope you can see it. Awesome. Well, I found the store and I got my collar that I wanted to get and I got more gas and I looked and I still have three hours to go. You can see that's the moon up there. Still driving down the road. It's, uh, I think I'm in mountain time now, so it's gonna be seven. So I booked a hotel online and I'm hoping that, I don't know what time the office closed. I think they're always open pretty late. Not 100% sure on that though. But it's right off the freeway. It's about 20 minutes from my destination. So it's 20, I'll have to keep going 20 minutes tomorrow morning which is fine. I just hopefully I get there in time to actually get the room. I should have probably called them. That probably would have been smart. But I think I should be able to get there on this tank of fuel, so I'm just gonna cook it all the way there. It's actually a pretty beautiful night, only 65 degrees. Awesome, uh, the moon is shining super bright. I already seen a bunch of dead deer on the side of the road though. So I gotta kind of be careful. The speed limits are 80 and we're cooking. 80 at least so I'm just gonna focus on the road kick on a podcast and hopefully we'll pull up to a hotel soon well in a couple hours boom just like that I made it to a room I know I talked about earlier uh, maybe trying to find a room in a casino or something and ironically there is a casino about 10 minutes down the road hotel everything like that which I'd never looked even I never saw it, but I'm happy I didn't because well, it's 11 o'clock. I just got here. What a long day! I left at 8 this morning, it's 11 o'clock at night now. There's a time change, so I don't know if it hurts me or helps me. My brain's pretty fried, a lot of focusing on the road and music, and you know, road trip. It was cool. This moon coming out was pretty awesome, and then. The night drive was actually not bad. It was, uh, with the moon shining bright out in the desert like that, it was pretty cool. Yeah, we wouldn't pick it up on camera, otherwise I would have got some shots. But I made sure I stopped, and I had a hankering for a nice stout. I didn't really, wasn't going to go for this, but this is all I could find, so this will do. Got myself, I was just going to get one, but I couldn't find just one, so I got to be careful, so I don't uh, try to start a hotel party in here because i gotta be up early so i'm hoping that well i'm not hoping i'm going to just have one and maybe two and call it a night i'll let you know how that goes now nah, i'm pretty sure i will uh hopefully i'll be up about six or so six or seven i think it's about 20 minutes down the road i gotta look it up but 20 minutes down the road and i meet my puppy tomorrow i'm pretty excited what a long trek. I think this is the longest I've ever taken the camping rig on a road trip. Good thing it's a Toyota. 13, 13, 14 year old Toyota trucking like, like a champ. All right, I'm gonna kick back, relax, and drink one or two of these and watch some TV and just wind down and I will check in tomorrow. It's awfully bright. <sighs> wakey, wakey. Hands off, snakey. Well, that just happened. But, uh, just driving down the road, trying to get back to the freeway because look at this, I got my little guy here. And I, that car that you just saw there, I seen all the dust settling down and I seen somebody, seen somebody crawling out of it. And uh, so 
so I stopped, I backed up, and he was brushing himself off. Like, as I went by, he was brushing himself off. So I backed up to see if I can lend any help. And I ran in there, and nobody was in the vehicle. But by the time I got back there, there was no one to be found in the area. There was a lady that lived there that was on the phone with the authorities. And I couldn't find anybody. I saw him. He was brushing himself off. He crawled out. He must have been hiding because, I don't know, that was weird. He was probably drunk or something. I don't know. But he didn't look like he was too terribly injured. Well, he couldn't have been because he ran off. So, that happened. Hopefully we don't have too many of those hiccups on their way home. It's going to be a long drive. But look, I got my little buddy with me. He was just napping the whole time and then I woke him up. buddy. I gotta figure out a name for him. I don't know what to call him yet. But he's adorable. Well that was weird. All right let's get back on the road. Well we've been doing real good. We've got quite a few hours down. I think we got four, five, six hours left to go. My little buddy here, he's just, he's been sleeping for most of it. Now he's trying to crawl around a little bit, but he really won't leave my lap, so it's uh, not going too bad. I haven't been filming too much because it's kind of a pain with the dog and watching the road and film and at high speeds. I did learn doing over 80 miles an hour, it kills my gas mileage. But if I do 75, it's not. I still trucked 80 all the way through Idaho, but now I'm back in Oregon, and the speed limit is 70, so. I'm just gonna keep on going, and if anything cool comes up, I'll kick the camera on, otherwise, hey, no. Nope. Otherwise, uh, I'll see everybody when I get home. And voila, like that, I made it home. What a trip. Nothing too eventful happened after that uh, vehicle upside down, but just kept on trucking. The, the boy did good. I think I'm gonna settle on the name Copper. I think so. I was gonna do Thurman from Thurman Merman from Bad Santa, just cause it's funny, but I can't do it to him. I think he's gonna be a Copper. I think that fits well. But he did great. He sat on my lap pretty much the entire time and slept. Uh, walked around a little bit, but mainly slept the whole way for like 12 hours, which I couldn't ask for anything better than that because going solo could have definitely not been fun. Yeah, he didn't have any accidents other than one minor one, which wasn't terrible. It was my fault. So he was on my lap and he was kept whining and moving around, moving around. And I haven't, I was like, what are you doing? Just lay down, go to sleep. Well, it turns out he had to pee a little bit and I caught it on my lap, which kind of sucked, but wasn't too bad. Uh, he just tinkled, it wasn't terrible. I managed to get pulled over and he went the rest of the way in the grass. We came home, got him washed up, got me washed up and we're all set. And I'll probably end the video here. Thanks for coming with me. And I'll see you on the next one. On to the next adventure.